Hello everyone, and welcome back to Limbo. We are continuing on this rather dreary industrial section of the game, which is a stark contrast to the happy forests. Well, I mean, not exactly happy, but spider-infested forests. Let's just call it the... I'm so joyful I could just have someone stab me in the throat or my head explode or drown in water or not know what the fuck is going on forest. Well, that that sums up a lot of how you die in this game. So yeah, I, I think that's appropriate. Is that happiness yeah. or is that just crippling fear? I, I can't tell the you difference. You know, it, it's potato potato. And Oh, and this is a really memorable part of the game. Uh, I, I, have, I have seen up to the first... If we're going by how long, however long the, the, this playthrough is, I've probably seen the, wow, wow. the first five five parts of this game. Okay. Uh, Tabuscus did not finish playing it, <laughs> so uh, uh, right now I just, I still know what's happening, but soon I'm gonna not know. <laughs> Fair enough. I wonder why he stopped playing it. This game is awesome. Because it's it, Tabuscus, like Game Grumps, and a lot of those. I, I, I call them, you know, there's, there's two kinds of Let's Players. No, there's three. But you got you got your you got your serious Let's Player, you know, who's going to know all his facts, like a Clement J6, which they know everything, right? And they'll tell you everything and all that. Then you got your casual Let's Player, who doesn't know all this stuff, um, but likes to play the games. And then you got your dicks around Let's Players. Those ones are, you know, you know like, those ones would be like uh, Tabuscus or PewDiePie or... Game Grumps are the biggest ones. You can never expect these people to finish a game, and you never know which games they will finish. You know, like, mm -hmm. think of the games Game Grumps have actually finished beating. I gotcha. So, you know, very often Tabuscus will play a game, and like, like Slenderman or this... Like, he played Slenderman, he did a lot of different Slenderman things, he never actually beat it once. <laughs> right, right. I know of very few people that have. <laughs> it okay. seems like a crazy game. It seems very uh, luck-oriented in some respects. It is, it is, and honestly, it's... Like, after you play it a couple times, the novelty wears off, and it gets a little boring and repetitive, but for the novelty value, it's it does a pretty good job of scaring the shit out of unsuspecting players. Yeah, and I've also I've also noticed the custom levels are, oh, yeah. are very the same. Yeah, yeah they're different, they but are. they're very the same. <laughs> yeah, it's true, It's which is a shame, because I think as a concept, it could be opening itself up for some really cool custom levels, but... I haven't seen much of it, and I think a lot of the hype around it has kind of died down by now. Yeah. Um, but anyway, yeah. Slenderman's just... better as a, a cartoon as a cartoon parody than <laughs> the game. Yeah, itself, that's think. fair enough. Yeah. So anyway, but yeah, with that hotel sign, we unplug the part and all that stuff. We knocked that little arrow thing down, which is appropriate. You're so pro at this game. Uh, well, <laughs> again, lots of deaths have been edited out. <laughs> it looks like I know what I'm doing. It's all part of the illusion. Now, is that water, or is that uh, like an energy containment field? Well, I like, to think, like? I like to think it's an energy containment field. What it actually is is a geodesic dome that's just oh, made of glass. Oh, so it was neither of the things that I said. It's, I know, it's I, I hate to listen. It's glass. <laughs> yeah, it's just glass, and you'll see, like... I'll jump on it, and it's like, ooh, it kind of starts to fracture. Maybe I can get that shit. What I what I like though is I like that there are parts of the glass that are broken and parts of the glass that are clearly unbroken. Yeah. Yet, no matter what, the glimmer is everywhere. It's true. It's <laughs> true. We're we're too tiny to break it ourselves because we're just a tiny. The glimmer thing. stays with the 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 area the glass used to be in. It just it's just it's always there. Yeah, it's, it's, as long as it looks pretty, who cares if it's actually functional? Are you sure you want to break glass in a game where? Yeah, anything can kill you. What's the worst that could happen? I mean, you know, we've only got so many... Yeah, you could only just die. So We've only got so many veins. I mean, what's the chance that one of them could sever an artery? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not like you'll fall into your doom. Yeah. Yeah, this is this is one of the... Well, and let's be honest, this game is pretty hyper-realistic, but this is one of the very few unrealistic stunts that you have to pull in the game. Jump off the high ladder and then break through it. Without a, the with, science is there, but the, the aerodynamics is not. Yeah. I'm not sure how well you'd be able to jump off the ladder. And and just keep on trucking like nothing <laughs> happens to you. Just yeah, and it's not, and it's, the only reason is a ladder is very finicky, and if you try to jump off of it, one of two things would uh, you'll likely happen. Because of the momentum moving you forward, and you trying to jump with the momentum, you oh, may slip and fall. <laughs> the, other the, thing that, the other thing that might happen is... Even though that thing doesn't fall, a ladder, even on a a, thing, a moving cart, would topple when you tried to 
put all your weight on one side of it to jump off of it. Oh, yeah. Especially one on the cart. I mean, that's about as unstable as it gets. Yeah. <laughs> it's on wheels, too. But, yes, this was when I realized that, oh, shit, you have to knock this down first, because that's this is a brain slug over there. death you've had. I'm it's sorry? It's like, huh, I wonder what this is. Oh, shit, it's yeah. falling on me. It was a, it was a <laughs> oh, God, what have I done? I regret all of my life decisions that led to this moment. It's like, like you know, you get, you get stabbed by the spider in an epic, like, death. You get killed by, like, murderous children. You drown in water. All these are respectable deaths. Some wood falls on you. I know, then uh, a, that's, some that's wood that's scaffolding. <laughs> killed by scaffolding. What an anti-climax. Jesus Christ. Uh, so here's the brain thing, slug. Yeah. It's like the brain slugs in Futurama that we can't avoid. My favorite joke in the brain slugs, it was, uh, it was in the one where Bender becomes a wrestler. Yes. And, and Hermes' is brain slug. Yep, and he off. keeps trying to get fried. And, and he's like, Oh, thank God! You know, uh, you finally freed me! And he's like, oh, I'm sorry, Hermes! He puts it on, he's like, thank you very much, it was very cold on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> puts it on Fry's head, poor little thing died of, died of starvation. Yeah. <laughs> Classic. Uh, have you seen any of the new episodes? I have, and I enjoy it. I'll, I'll admit it's not quite as fantastic as I remember it being, but it still has lots of great moments. So I, I, I have found one of the problems I have with Futurama in the new, in the, when, since it came back is every single episode they've done since, I think it's six, but let's call it conservatively seven and on. Every single one. I, I, I challenge you, Alex, and the audience to find me one episode of the new Futurama season that doesn't ha contain plot line in one or the whole part of it where the end of the world is a part of the plot line, somebody getting killed is a part of the plot line, or some, one of the main characters getting maimed is a part of the plot line. There's always the end of the world, total domination, Fry loses his hand or gets killed, but he's not really dead, you know, because he got, didn't really get vaporized, just got teleported, you know, or, or somebody dies and they bring him back. The most recent one I just watched, Calculon dies, then he gets brought back, so... Have you noticed that every episode involves some kind of intense violence? There's definitely lots of those, and there was lots of those in the in the original episodes as well. I, I, really do, I just don't remember it at the ratio it, it has it at now. I remember a lot of stuff like that because it's the future and whatnot. But there were like, I could think I could have thought of plenty of you know old episodes where nobody was getting killed or maimed or hurt or. The world is getting taken over, you know? It, right. it wasn't every episode. This has been every episode It has had something like this. Like, that's their go-to plotline now. Well, I know it hasn't been every single one, although it's tough to say. Like, the one where okay, well, Fry loses I his memory, I guess you can't say I can think of one episode when none of those things happen. And well, that's the one where Leela and Fry go on vacation, right. and they're being monitored by apes. Um, I don't remember that Your one. Your vacation is really, like, on a planet of apes. Uh, oh, okay. But, like, that's one out of 23. <laughs> uh, but anyway, we're, uh, so... Yes, that little, that, I know that puzzle right there that I, that timing puzzle that I just had to do. Um, and I can't remember why I'm going back. Because you had to get the brain slug off, so you, now you have to do something. Oh, yeah, that's right, yeah, because there's actually not any place we go, but, um... Yeah, that puzzle right there, I, I, I think, in the in this version we see here, I got on the second try, that is not the case when it came to actual implementation, at the actual recording of it. And also, you can't make that jump, I just found. <laughs> so, speed up time. Speed up! As you, yeah, you can just barely, like, when it's speeding it up, it looks a lot more obvious, but in the regular, in the just regular playing of this game... It does not jump out as an obvious <laughs> Super speed up! <laughs> yeah, seriously. Yeah, it's... it's tr I I still to this day wonder if this is really what you're supposed to do because it takes a long time to build up the amount of momentum that you really need. And it seems like a lot of the things in this game don't take, like, stupid amounts of time. But this one, really... I, I, think, like, I'm I pulling out I all the stuff to try and... Paid. I think you're supposed to hang. Because I do remember Tabasco's doing this, and I believe yeah. you're supposed to hang on it. I, at least that's what <laughs> I, I thought. Did. But yeah, this is very uh, time-consuming. It is, and more so than most of the other puzzles in the game. I think at this point, I'm is he gonna do it? The speed up went away. I, oh, look, he did it! Oh, that's I, like was, a... I was, I was totally surprised. I did not know that you were gonna do it at that point at all. I well, it's been a while since I've recorded this, so honestly, I wasn't too sure myself. <laughs> Maybe he just took the speed up away to confuse the audience. Yeah. Just to show off some other stupid thing that happens to me. Instead of falling off the edge, like an anvil falls on my face or something. Uh, you know what I'd love? 
if you have like a game like this and the and the players are so bad, like they like let's say you have like a counter and it, you have like a counter mixed with like a a, uh, a death counter and a time counter. So if you mm -hmm. if you take too many deaths or t or take too long in total gameplay or mo or both, the game just like blows you up or kills you and, and like says you suck play another game. Some sort of way to really drive home yeah. the fact. That I just think that would be the funniest thing. Just you know, because I'm sure you see people like that who just cannot play a game, and it's like no matter what, they just don't get it, and they're right. full. And I just think the funniest thing would be have all of a sudden they're just like stuck, and they just get like they just blow up. The character blows up and it says you suck. <laughs> Honestly, in some games, I feel that's how it is for me too, and some games have that implemented as like a running out of continues feature, but it doesn't make it does. It's not the blowing up thing. It's not quite the same. Uh, that's just for the visual effect. Yeah, exactly. So at this point, yes, I'm discovering... This is a switch. switch. It goes it switch. in and out. There it goes. I knew there was something to it, but of course if we jump on this rope and sit here, it doesn't really do us a whole lot of fucking good, so... It's a matter of getting... Well, I won't spoil it, but there's stuff off to the left that might be of use. Yay! I'll make no guarantees. Well, I will make guarantees. Here's a box. I found it. I believe I've seen as far as the next part of this, if it's the part I'm thinking of, where, okay. I'll just say, where things go up and down. That is a an accurate way to describe it. Yeah, I think that was about as far as I've seen. Right. And honestly, at that point, you've seen most of the game. <laughs> then it's just, now let's see all the elements at once! Right. Well, and you haven't, um, yeah, you haven't missed a whole lot. It's a relatively short game, so, um, like, content-wise, you really haven't missed much. Um, and the ending, some people were disappointed by it. I, I think it's appropriate, but well, we'll see. We'll cross our bridge when we get there. In the end yeah. of the game, you realize he was really Hans Christian Andersen all along. Bruce Willis was dead the whole time. What did you just... Wondering where his career went. Yeah, well. Better make, more, better make seven more Die Hard movies. It's the only way. Pushing... Yeah. I had to remember this one. I remember the first time I played it. This one took me a long time to figure out, but it's a matter of using this counterweight thing as a sort of. Well, shit! I fucked myself up with that box. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, uh, that that part's at least doable. Um, this took me probably longer than it should have my first playthrough. But yeah, you have to just kind of place it that way because otherwise, without that there, as you could kind of see that. Pivot would Are you telling me that. that your character can't spontaneously gain 100 pounds at will? Come It'd be on. a pretty sweet superpower, and a pretty terrifying one, now that I think about it. <laughs> I am too- I am- I am Tubman! <laughs> the, the- the- I have the power to increase my glandular size at will! Only once. <laughs> only it's irreversible. I, I have it's only It's a one-time situational power. thing. That one time he needs to- to wit- to gain some weight really quickly. I can become morbidly obese once, and that's it. <laughs> that reminds me of, do you know uh, David O'Doherty? Uh, he's a stand-up comedian, like and he has this bit called um, uh, Very Mild Superpowers. Oh, I think I know what you're talking about. <laughs> and he's like, <laughs> I have the ability to tell when a situation is not, you know, like, feeling right, and people are being slightly sarcastic, and it's like, <laughs> it's like, because I got very mild super that that's not like one of those very mild superpowers. I got you. I have the ability to turn really fat once. <laughs> I think I've seen a couple of those. There's like there's something I'm thinking online where it's like the ability to turn into a lamp once, um, partial invisibility, the ability to smell like a cat, like a bunch of just stupid bullshit. Yeah, it's funny. Um, yeah, one this of the was he does he does a, a song called uh, FAQ for the DOD. I don't like that one as much, but yeah, it's all it's all good. This puzzle is another one that I make it look like I just got it on my second try, and that's a damn lie. It took me three or more than I would like to count. Three and, and a half, good, and that's a good transition to end the video. Thanks for watching, folks. Part five is coming up next. Bye.